Hi, I'm Pat Clark with Lifting Gear Hire Corporation. Today we're going to be discussing our hydraulic cylinders and the accessories to go along with them such as hydraulic hoses, gauges, and the pumps that power them. For openers, based on your application requirements, you're going to select a cylinder that fits those needs. We offer several different types of cylinders, starting with a single acting load return cylinder whereby you need a significant amount of weight to retract it. We also offer double acting where we have one port that advances the cylinder, another port that retracts the cylinder, and then we also offer our single acting spring returns is what we're going to start off with. Here we have spring return single acting cylinders. In order to utilize them, you have to use some sort of pump. We offer a nice variety such as hand operated, gas operated, and like you see here, electric operated. Permanently affixed on the cord is a reference material that shows the proper length and gauge extension cord required. In addition to that, under full load and running off 115 volts, these can draw up to 20 amps. Before moving on, we want to offer you some accessories that would allow your application to run more smoothly and safely. For example, if you're looking to run more than one cylinder at a time, you should consider using a manifold. Also, we offer safety check valves. When the valve is engaged and down, it allows oil to flow into the cylinder but not back out. And lastly, you should highly consider using a pressure gauge. It simply provides a window into your hydraulic system. In a moment, we'll show you how to properly hook the hoses up to the pump and the cylinder. Assuming those connections are properly made and all of your couplings are tight, we want to show you some of the basic functions of the pump. Whether or not you're using a gas or electric pump, there's a toggle switch on here that will power the motor on. Regarding the valve, the neutral position is in the center. To advance the cylinder, you'd move it to your left. To retract it, you'd move it to your right. Depending on the manufacturer of the pump, the functions may vary. In fact, if you're using an Enerpak powered pump, they suggest to retract the cylinder, make sure the valve is in the retraction position, then switch the power pump off. Regarding the hand pump, to use it properly and to start advancing, you have to make sure that the valve is in the secured closed position. Once you've advanced it and then you want to retract, open that valve up and the oil will flow back into the pump itself. It's encouraged that before your application begins that you should assemble your entire hydraulic system and test it thoroughly several times to make sure it's running smoothly. If you're using a manifold, for example, with the pump off, make sure that your needle valves are also in the closed position. Then, turn your pump on, start advancing it, building pressure, then slightly open up your manifold valves. Again, thoroughly run up and down your cylinders a few times to ensure they're running smooth. Moving on, let's talk about our load return cylinders. They still fall under the category of single acting, so our earlier setup is identical. The proper gauge extension cord is required, the same pump, hoses, manifold, and now you're just using load return cylinders. We'll hook up the pump, turn it on, and start advancing it forward building up some pressure and then we'll start adjusting our manifold to give proper flow to each respective cylinder. So one of the key components when you're using hydraulic cylinders is to make sure that the unit, the cylinders are always lifting up level and the system is plumb. This would prevent any side loading, any damage to the cylinders or the unit that you're attempting to lift. A recommended rule of thumb is to go only 80% of the maximum allowed stroke for your cylinder. If you take a look at this load return cylinder, it has two warnings as such. The first is there's a red warning indicator line on the side of the piston itself. That's telling you once you reach that is to stop all operations. If you ignore that, there's a release valve on the side of the cylinder that will flow oil telling you the same thing. If you ignore that, you could damage the equipment or worse, suffer catastrophic failure to the ram. Now to retract the cylinders. You simply repeat the process but in reverse. Again, as a reminder, these are load return cylinders. So you have to have a significant amount of weight on them in order to track the cylinders properly. The last type of cylinder we'd like to offer a demonstration on are our double acting cylinders, meaning there's two ports for operation. First, the lower port advances the cylinder while the upper port will retract the cylinder. The entire operational system is different from its single acting counterparts. The pump is different, the number of hoses are different, as well as the number of manifolds as well. 
There's a manifold for advancing the cylinders and there's a separate manifold to retract the cylinders. Regarding the operation of the pump, ensure that you have the proper electrical requirements. Even though they're very similar to the single acting, be sure to check the electrical tag that's permanently affixed to the pump. So there's an advanced manifold and a retract manifold. I've already taken the liberty to hook up the hoses on the advanced side. Now I want to give you a demonstration to hook up the hoses on the retract side. You grab the hose, remove the dust cap, make sure it's free of any dirt or other debris. If it's not, make sure you grab a clean towel and wipe it down properly. Take the male end of the hose and insert it into the female end of the coupling. You'll engage it and hand tighten it only. This is an area where you do not want to use channel locks. We're going to repeat the process with the hose and the retract port on the cylinder itself. After it's secured properly, then we can begin to test the system before any operations begin. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. In our rental fleet, our capacity ranges for our hydraulic cylinders are from five all the way up to a thousand ton. Pumps from 45 cubic inches all the way up to 40 gallons and hydraulic hose at virtually any length. For more questions regarding the hydraulic cylinders and other products that we rent, give us a call. As a reminder, the contents of this video were for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's guidelines and use and care instructions before beginning.